Hey, Andrew from DD Microphones here. Today I'm on set with Josh. Josh is a sound mixer in Los Angeles. He's gonna teach us when we need the boom from below and not from above. So let's get started. Sounds like a plan. So Josh, tell us, what is the first situation we need to think about when we boom from below? Well, if your actor happens to be at a higher elevation than the noise, okay. Or if the noise is coming from behind them. From behind them. So we've literally got both of those with that road, right? That's the perfect So they're sound. below us and it's behind us. So what does that sound like when we boom from above? Well, so here's some test audio for you guys. Uh, we're booming me from above and you probably hear all those cars, don't you? Every single car. Every single car. Let's boom from below. And there we go. And what does that sound like, Josh? Crystal clear. Crystal clear? That's awesome. Let's take a look at those techniques in practice. The coyotes are making their move. Now. Currently, yeah. Okay. Uh, Having gone undercover for so long, I don't know if it would be such a bad thing for the coyotes to overtake the humans. I think that they have a clear outlook on life. You know, they're hungry, they eat. We're hungry, hours spent trying to decide. They just, whatever they see, sink their teeth into. I respect that about them. So let's go take a look at our second situation. So Josh, tell us about our second setup. Well, right now we have two tunnels with a harsh lighting, and as a result, we can boom from above because we'll create harsh shadows. Okay, we definitely don't want that. What else do we need to consider, though, when we're in a kitchen? Well, whenever you're in a kitchen, you gotta think about the reflective surfaces because you can see movements and the reflections and even that metal kettle. Perfect. So let's take a look at our next shot. Gosh darn it, Derek. I don't even know where your loyalties lie at this point. Bobby, you should know at Are this point. Are you human? Are you coyote? Are you dancer? I'm coyote. I've tried to make that incredibly clear. And just, you disgust me. Hard dancer. You know what, can we just Hypocrisy. quit it with the backstabbing and the games? Coyotes don't have opposable thumbs, so the only backstabbing being done is by humans. So Josh, we're on our third setup. Tell us about this situation. Well, right now we have two talents walking up the stairs, and because of the different heights of the talent, we're gonna have to move from below. Okay, is there anything else about this scene though we need to think about? Yes, the lighting. Tungsten lights often buzz, especially when they're dimmed, so you have to get the boom as far away as possible, and to do so, you go below. Let's check it out. Is there any part of humanity that still lives inside you? You're just completely gone, given to the primal forces. I'm completely coyote, and still part dancer. And there you have it, three situations in which you should boom from below. Sometimes you have people making noise below and behind you, sometimes you have harsh light overhead and you're going to cast shadows across the actor's face, and sometimes you just physically can't do it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and all the different social media platforms at DD Microphones. Leave a comment below and tell us what we should make our next video about. The best comment is going to win a DD shotgun microphone. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Remember, sound is half the picture. <laughs>